Now going back to the original model in the CAD, we'll turn off the contours so we can see a bit clearly what we're doing. If I zoom into a location, our lines, if I query them again, consist of short straight lines. If I query one of the survey points, we obviously have the symbol there representing the point where the height was measured and we have the text that goes with it. And because we actually have lots of little short straight lines, we're going to get an awful lot of duplication when we generate points from this. So we're going to have to employ a clever feature within Enforce that actually does away with the duplicates as it's generating the points from CAD so that we end up with nice continuous features without an overload of duplication. We can also use a function within Enforce to actually use the layer as the code. So rather than have to pick each object and tell it what code to use, by cleverly manipulating the layer names we can get Enforce to do it all in one go. So I'll begin by renaming the layers. This could obviously be done by using an import filter but it's just as quick for the moment to do it manually. So I'm renaming these layers to codes that we hopefully have in the code table. Finally, concrete. Okay, so having done that now, we go back to the models folder and create a new model this time. We'll call this one points from lines. Press OK. So we use the back cloth again. Zoom to extents. Okay, so as before we generated points from the points, or rather the symbols, this time we're going to use the line work. So we go to points this time and come down to generate from lines. We use the assigned height as before. And when we have point code, we rather than put a point code in, we say layer is code here on the right. Obviously then the point field becomes inactive because we're going to use the layer names that these objects lie on. We're also going to invoke the option that says trace lines. This is what allows Enforce to look up the duplicate points in real time as it's generating the points and reconnect the dots to form continuous features. I'll take out the maximum spacing because we don't want to generate any more points along the features than we already have. I'll press OK. In rectangle mode, and now select the job. And there we go. If I get rid of the back cloth, Alt B to, to get the back cloth screen up as a shortcut. We can see we have lots of different features now. If I go to features and come down to undefined codes, it will tell me if I've got any objects that haven't got definitions. So we can here we have actually got one for concrete and the piling. So I'll quickly define them to use lines. Enable that. Make sure it's obviously forcing the DTM. And I'll put that in yellow so we can see it and let's define the piling, obviously removing the string numbers, enable that, making sure it's forced again, I'll have that in blue. So if we zoom in, you can see all the line work now. So if I now generate the DTM, see the five duplicates, tidy up the triangles, Here we can see we actually have nice honoured triangles, but unfortunately we are missing the data in the middle of the stream. So we're going to quickly delete the DTM and add the point data in. So DTM delete all. Put the back cloth in. And now I can very quickly go to points, generate from symbols again. So repeating exactly what we did to begin with, using the assigned height. Started a nice round number. Don't want to say layer is code this time. Use SL. 
rectangle the job. There we go. However, when we zoom in now, we'll have lots of duplicates because we'll have points generated from the lines and also the points that were in the same place, as we can see here. So I'm going to get Enforce to delete the duplicates. I can find all the duplicate points just by using the filter option. All. I use a one millimeter search radius and Enforce automatically highlights for us all the duplicate points it's found. Now, as you can see, it's primarily selected all the spot levels. This is because obviously we generated the points from the features first, so first come, first served, they are kept. So Enforce really ends up selecting all the spot levels, which is what we want. So I just press delete, they'll disappear. If I go back to the DTM now and query these locations, you can see I've only now got one point. If we create the DTM, tidy up the triangles again. I go to the 3D view to have a look. There we go, and we can see we hopefully have quite a good representation of the original survey. And that concludes the quick demonstration on how to import AutoCAD drawings and quickly reverse engineer the third dimension.